the shop again, uh, working on that little axe. It's frosty in here. Again. <laughs> um, I sure hope we get it uh, hung today. Now what I gotta do is uh, remark my center line just in case this was because you can see it's a little bit off center now. There's lots of wood here, so that's all right. We'll just remake it. Draw a center line on here. Do the same thing with the other side. This side's pretty good. All right, then we'll start uh, forming this out a little bit. I have this draw knife that I built. I haven't even tried it yet. It's not even actually done, but I'm gonna try using that. This is not at all what this draw knife was designed for. It's actually designed for peeling logs, but we'll try it here. Just end up using the rasp again. It might take a while, but it'll just be cleaner in the end, I think. I should do see if I could cut this with the bandsaw. <laughs> knife didn't really work so I uh, took a little more meat off with the bandsaw and we'll uh, do it with the rasp it works so <laughs> on this piece is nowhere near perfect it's more like a little 45 ish but this axe is so small that it's probably not going to be a problem and if it is i'll just make another one i just didn't have a piece of wood that had the proper grain orientation that would have been suitable for this application so this is what i chose to do time when you're retired use the rasp <laughs> but I'm not I'm gonna use the grinder it's quicker <laughs> Okay, here it is. 
mostly roughed out. I think it looks pretty cool. Now I'll just go through a series of different sandpapers and get it sanded up real nice. I always keep scrap belts from my belt sander when they blow up. This is just a piece of 80. It's quite well worn, but we'll uh, start with that. <laughs> Here we are, really smooth, really, really smooth. I said I was gonna use a few different grits. I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm just gonna leave it at this. This worked really well, actually. Now I have to cut the groove for the wedge in here. You can use whatever saw you have, jig saw, hand saw, back saw. I'm gonna use uh, the band saw just cause it's hooked up and ready to go already then I can mount the head or hang the head as they say and uh, put the wedge in <laughs> Pack of wedges here. This might be pretty steep. Let's see if I can get it in there. And these little come with a couple little step wedges. Get this on here. Oh, that creates nice. Just mark where the wedge needs to go here, how wide it needs to be. And then usually they just split real easy. Well, that didn't work where the crap, but oh well. Yeah, this wedge is going to be way too steep. I'll see if I can find something else to make one out of. Okay, and usually it works better to drive a wedge with another piece of wood, so let's try that. I got the wedge driven down as far as I can. Uh, it took a little effort and a few tries and right at the end it mushroomed pretty good but I think it's in there pretty good. Now we got to take it and cut that off. Again I think I'm just going to use the bandsaw and then we can drive the step wedge in. There, I just cut it uh, just a little ways away, just so I didn't hit the steel with the blade. And now we'll, uh, oh, I gotta just 
trim this up a little bit where this shoulder hit with the knife a little wee bit. Well, there it is. All done. Now all I need to do is put a little bit of linseed oil on the handle and I'm going to call this axe finished. Turned out pretty well. I think it's going to be functional. Oh, I guess I got to sharpen it. Maybe I'll sharpen it in a different video too.